Mexico is like another state for us. It's easy to get to, it's cheap, the people are wonderful, and there is so much to do. Today, my friend Allison and I are meeting up with a friend in Chihuahua, and the three of us are heading down to Zona del Silencio, a remote section of the Mapimi Biosphere Reserve on the border with Durango. I don't really have any idea what to expect on this adventure, so we will just find out together. Allison's first bus ride. First <laughs> Hey, to Chihuahua, and we have our friend Maritza here that we met last year oh. when we were coming through Chihuahua. <laughs> so now we're going to have an afternoon in Chihuahua City and then head down to the desert in the morning. Oh, it's so good to be back in Mexico. Ah. And I've been waiting all night for you tell me the truth. How do you? This is the Complejo Ecoturistico Zona del Silencio, a privately owned property located just outside the boundary. We paid about 60 US dollars each per night to stay here in the bunkhouse, and that cost includes our meals and various tours and activities. Víctor Hugo Rascón Banda, él sabe a Monse y todos. Y la gente de Chihuahua tenía la obligación de ver o apagarlo. Mmm, es. Cante. Chile, Colorado. Oh my gosh, wow. it's so good. Maritza translates the story that Pancho Villa sent four men to El Paso to retrieve arms for the revolution. Along the way, the men fought and killed each other, but one survived. He fled with the money to this area and buried his treasure. Pancho Villa sent General Fierro to confront the man and reclaim the money. 
But the legend says that when the man laid eyes on Fierro, he died of fear, and the location of the treasure would remain a mystery. This place is called the Ex Hacienda de los Remedios, and we are told that Pancho Villa spent time hiding out here during the revolution, and that he even acquired his famous horse, Siete Leguas, from this very hacienda. take my first tennis call, which is basically a sweat lodge. Our shaman is preparing volcanic rocks in the fire. We all sit on the dirt floor in the tennis call, and the hot rocks go in the middle. And beyond that, I, I don't know what to expect. <laughs> el árbol de copal es un árbol que crece en el centro y en el sur del país. That was pretty amazing. It was very hot. Um, the mental struggle to stay inside was surprising to me. It was an emotional release. I think we all cried. <laughs> My thoughts to tell you how to prepare for something like this is to drink a lot of water beforehand and prepare mentally. Wear shorts and a tank top because you're sitting on the dirt floor. You will sweat a lot. Just keep your eyes closed and um, breathe through your mouth. Every time I would wipe the sweat, try to wipe the sweat off my skin, my skin would burn from the heat. So just leave the sweat. Yeah, if you can't take it anymore, slide down to the ground because the ground is cooler. And um, yeah, I'm feeling very relaxed and hungry, so it's time to go find some dinner. For the last night of our trip, we decided to camp near the hot springs, under the desert stars, just like the old caballeros. Quesadillas con queso de chihuahua, espinacas, guacamole, vino, good company. <laughs> girls slept out in the tents last night and I was trying to sleep out on the picnic table under the stars but it was super windy and it got really cloudy and there were no stars so I slept in the car very very well <laughs> and I still got to see the stars looking out through the back window here so Allison and I have a 1:30 bus to catch out Chihuahua so it's time to head four hours back to the city
Allison, will you ever travel with Ashley again? <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> I have not hiked since Vermont. And this is kicking my butt. Okay. There are bees in the cave. No. I just got stung. Yeah. <laughs> They're following you. That was no. very fast. We did not see pictures. We're going down. I think this bowl has a leak. Oh, really? No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's literally the creepiest thing I've ever seen in my life. 